Welcome all, myself VSKP Verma presenting here at ICAC 2018 on my work Real-Time Detection of Speed Hump for Bump and Distance Estimation with Deep Learning using GPU and Z-Stereo Camera. We started this work with an aim for assisting human or self-driving vehicle in Indian road scenarios while navigating through humps or bumps for smooth braking and acceleration at safer limits in order to not cause any kind of discomfort to the passengers as well as damage to the vehicle. We have achieved our aim with deep learning method that detects and informs the driver about the upcoming unmarked and marked speed hump or bump in real time. And using stereo vision approach, we have obtained distance the vehicle is away from the speed breaker. We have used Jetson TX1 from NVIDIA and Z Stereo Labs Z camera. Uh, when we started this project, we have tried to capture various humps or bumps which are available or observed in India and across various states. The commonly observed speed control measures on Indian roads are these which are shown in the figure. Other speed control measures which are rarely observed are rumble strips and speed tables. Speed humps on minor road according to IRC 099 guidelines of Indian Road Congress in India should span a width of 3.5 meter and a height between 10 to 12 centimeters and a warning sign need to be present 40 meters ahead of the speed hump or bump to adjust the speed of the vehicle. Speed humps should be painted to make vehicle commuters visible and illuminated by solar cateys to assist road commuters about their presence during night time. Speed humps are designed to bring down the vehicle to safer crossing speeds of around 25 km per hour. Whereas the speed bump has an abrupt rise in area on the pavement surface usually spans between 2 to 4 inches and is designed to maintain the crossing speeds of 10 miles per hour or less. These are Appropriate when the vehicle speeds are lowest to begin with such as parking lots, school entrances, hospitals, garages and private roads. We observe that lot of speed bumps are being constructed on public roads in India which are resulting in severe discomfort for the commuters and causing damage to the vehicle. This slide details about the IRC code 099. As we have seen, uh, many humps or bumps are present of different types in India as we seen in the last slide. When we browsed through the government portal for the proper guidelines, we found that the speed breaker should be spanning a width of 4 meters and it should be a maximum height in between 10 to 12 centimeters and a warning sign should be placed 40 meters ahead of the speed hump breaker. But many of the Indian road conditions we won't see these rules are being followed and also there are no solar cateys present to make them visible at the night time. Only I have observed from 100 humps or bumps which I have seen only 5 to 10 have this kind of uh, proper structure. In this slide, we will go through different speed control methods which we have uh, captured in our data set as well as the requirements of the speed hump. Uh, if you see the first one in the figure 1a, it is called as a speed hump because it is of a larger width and the figure 1b which is called labeled as a speed bump because it is with uh, less width and uh, abrupt rise in the height of the bump and the third one it is figure 1c it shows the rumble strips which are illegal on the public roads. It should be placed only near the schools and inside the hospitals as well as the parking lots. And the 1D figure shows the unmarked hump or bump. It causes severe discomfort to the riders during night time as well as during daytime if the hump or bump is in the color of the road surface. It will be more severe. 
in the next figure 2 a it shows the markings on the hump if these are not present it is called as an unmarked hump or bump and also the figure 2b shows the traffic sign which need to be present 40 meters ahead of the hump and figure 2c shows the solar based catase if you might have observed this will make you visible during night time about the presence of the hump or bump and the figure 2D is the absence of the light. If there is an absence of the light or street lightning, it will be severe discomfort for the riders without the presence of solar catase or traffic signboard. This is the major cause of the accidents during night time on the speed humps or pumps. Transport Minister himself uh, admitted that this is a menace in the country and we have speed breakers on every road which can break your bones and damage your vehicle. This shows the severity of the problem which is existing in India. According to statistics, the total deaths in India due to potholes and speed breakers are more than the total accidents in a year in UK. The major issues which are causing these accidents are absence of the solar catase, white paint or radium painting and traffic signs to warn and absence of daylight and street lightning. Uh, here are various news articles captured from various news websites about the unmarked and uh, marked speed breakers, deaths and as well as uh, accidents which are being caused in India and if you see uh, a news article which is mentioned uh, 76 year old biker who is an expert in uh, racing bikes have died by hitting an unmarked hump as well as an Aswin Sundar who is a uh, car racer who is expired due to the unmarked speed breaker on the road which he has hit during the night time and also there are uh, rumble strips which are being placed on public roads uh, which came in a news article of Times of India the last article mentioning uh, it's an illegal on the public roads and also there is an unmarked uh, speed bump being uh, shown by a man when car is passing over it uh, before proposing our uh, work, we have went through various uh, literature papers of uh, speed hump detection which are uh, taken earlier. Uh, when we went through various articles, what we found is majority of the papers were into accelerometer based detection and uh, next comes the uh, smartphone based detection as well as the crowdsourcing methods. And the least priority was given to image processing based detection where uh, only we found uh, two to three papers are present. And coming to the first uh, major uh, literature which we found is the accelerometer based in which they have used uh, uh, Z-thresholding method as, a, as well as averaging method here for the detection of the hump or bump. Uh, there will be a uh, accelerometer have uh, as you know x y z axis the z axis will have the vibrations captured when it is placed uh, horizontally on the vehicle uh, the z axis is uh, monitored about the z threshold which is uh, fixed based on various experiments by running the vehicle through various humps or bumps and the threshold is fixed at the Z level. If it is above it then it is a hump, if it is below then it is not a hump. This is not an efficient method because uh, this will have uh, captured the also vibrations of the vehicle. For this to uh, know how good it works we have uh, tried 
an experimental setup with uh, accelerometer and uh, GPS and gyro set up on a two-wheeler vehicle and ride through various humps. This uh, Z-threshold level, what we found is it will vary between the uh, vehicles according to the suspension of the vehicle as well as the uh, dynamics of the vehicle. So this method is not unique uh, for uh, all the vehicles to port into. These are the result graphs of the uh, earlier shown uh, work which was done for the uh, Z-thresholding as well as the harm detection. Uh, this work on uh, real-time pothole detection using Android smartphones uh, with accelerometer by uh, Mednees and Strandnees and uh, Zyvdrees is worked on the pothole detection using Z-thresholding in the same way as the earlier paper for the speed harm detection. They have used also standard deviation of the uh, Z-axis value which they captured. Uh, here is a paper on uh, image processing based speed breaker detection uh, written by uh, Deva Priya and uh, CNK Babu. Uh, this is on uh, real time uh, bump detection using Gaussian filtering and connected component approach where uh, the images are uh, taken uh, of bump and uh, it is filtered and subtracted uh, from the noise and uh, with the connected component approach they are detecting a speed bump. The results are uh, shown in the coming slide. Uh, the results uh, show that uh, they have uh, worked on uh, five types of bumps. One is a marked uh, bump with uh, white strips and uh, another one type 2 is in uh, yellow markings. And type 3 is which is covered with uh, sand. And type 4 is uh, uh, like uh, checks uh, kind of chest check marks uh, with bump kind of bump and type 5 is an unmarked uh, speed bump. Uh, if you see uh, the accuracy for these uh, mentioned on uh, these number of samples uh, used total number of input images for type 1 system is uh, marked speed bump is 300 and they are able to achieve 90 percent accuracy whereas the important uh, part which they are uh, missing in their work is uh, the unmarked speed bump uh, the images captured is also less as well as uh, the accuracy which they have achieved is only 4% this shows the uh, uh, work where we can uh, improve the detection uh, of unmarked speed bump using deep learning techniques which we will be discussing in the uh, later slides uh, this is another uh, image processing based uh, detection which we found in the literature. Uh, this shows the harm detection using by capturing the road scene and doing an edge detection and hub transform on it and uh, capturing the vanishing point details so that uh, the unwanted portion is removed in the segmentation part and then the hump is detected. But this paper doesn't show an unmarked hump is detected and the accuracy is also not mentioned uh, in the paper. So what we thought is uh, going through a deep learning technique by capturing a lot of uh, data about the unmarked and marked speed bumps so that uh, to prove the accuracy, uh, better accuracy. And uh, here comes the uh, deep learning model which uh, has the hum data set which we collected by uh, running uh, the our vehicle through various uh, humps or bumps and the data format and labeling is uh, for knowing the uh, object detection model training and the tf record is the tensorflow model which we used so tf record will be created from the uh, labeled images and then the uh, parameter configuration will be done about the learning rate and uh, training time duration and all and uh, the training and inference uh, will be done by the system uh, GPU. We have used uh, here Jetson TX1 as well as ran on the uh, NVIDIA GPU. Uh, what we have uh, selected our base model is the SSD mobile net. Uh, 
which is the faster one uh, which with the lower MAP uh, this is our uh, speed hum data set which we have collected the left one shows the marked speed hums and the right one shows the unmarked speed hums and this data set has been uploaded to Mendeley data and uh, this slide shows the labeling of the data set which captures the x and y axis uh, of the height and uh, width of the uh, rectangle uh, here uh, at the below image it shows the width and uh, height of the image uh, as well as the uh, dimensions of the uh, object which is labeled uh, x min y min and x max and y max and the top right one shows the uh, labeled uh, uh, XML format uh, file which uh, captures the dimensions as well as the label name as well as the height and width of the image and the below one shows the uh, trained, uh, trained uh, files which are uh, .pb and uh, .pbtxt Uh, this is uh, the graph after training of the uh, deep learning model. We, we have obtained the loss of 2.299 uh, with uh, taking uh, 12k steps. This took uh, a duration of uh, 5 hours and uh, this is not the end result. It is a middle result. We have uh, trained till uh, 48 hours with a uh, total loss of 1.29. Uh, after uh, running uh, the deep learning model in the computer, we have uh, tried to port it to the uh, Android mobile phone using TensorFlow Android. Then uh, with this we are able to capture the uh, unmarked as well as marked uh, speed bumps in uh, real time uh, but with uh, less frames per second due to the uh, non-availability of the GPU on the mobile phone it given us around uh, 2 frames per second uh, if you see the detection uh, it is capturing with uh, inference time of 658 millisecond and with a frame of uh, 614 to 480 pixels and the neural network uh, layered uh, architecture is shown here after the detection and the results which are uh, uh, we have took on various uh, unmarked as well as uh, marked speed humps as well as we uh, tested during night time but we haven't trained on any of the images during night time but we got a, a ideal good accuracy if it is uh, under the street lights if you see there is a fading paint here and a newly painted one on the old paint if it, it is still visible and uh, if sand is covered and uh, tree shade and water is present and uh, presence of an, another vehicle we are able to detect even and uh, evening time and with the tree shade and partial tree shade and the night conditions these are extensive results which have uh, uh, done with the uh, model by running through these uh, paths and these are unmarked speed hump detection uh, results which shows uh, some one of the hump is having given uh, only uh, on the half of the road uh, which is very odd which we found near the uh, RTBO office so so the next comes is uh, uh, after the object detection with deep learning model we have used uh, we have tried uh, to capture the distance uh, the hump is away from so that uh, proper braking can be applied in the self-driving vehicle and acceleration can be controlled uh, we went through the various stereo vision literature papers and we have found uh, many of them have used uh, uh, dual uh, cameras which are placed on the on a rig and then uh, they have tried to generate a stereo map from it and we have also tried a similar approach by implementing that paper and we are able to attain that uh, distance to a cycle in the indoor environment we are able to get it and but uh, the disadvantage of this method is uh, the accuracy is very poor 
like uh, one meter uh, difference is there so we have uh, and also the movement of the uh, uh, camera slightly also need proper calibration uh, then only we will be able to attain the proper distance uh, towards the uh, obstacle or object so we have went we have took an uh, uh, here shows our experimental setup with z stereo camera from stereo labs and jets and tx1 from uh, nvidia uh, nvidia gpu need to be used because uh, of the uh, high parallelism involved in the uh, deep learning algorithms which we have used for the object detection of the speed hump the stereo vision algorithms and SDK from uh, Z Stereo Labs has been used to integrate the deep learning model along with the uh, uh, camera images from the stereo camera. And this has been uh, uh, developed to detect the distance uh, towards the hump. If you see the right side image, it has the uh, Z Stereo camera as well as the Jetson uh, port placed on a test vehicle. Here shows the marked uh, speed hump uh, depth map which shows the uh, various uh, depth levels in the scene. And this is our experimental setup during development and uh, testing phase. And the uh, experimental results show that hump is detected at uh, 5321 mm that is 5.3 meters. Uh, and the camera is running at uh, 30 frames per second and the speed hump is uh, detected in the uh, image which is shown in the monitor and also the uh, distance towards it is calculated SSD is used for uh, porting the Jetson OS onto this which is running Here shows the uh, flowchart of the distance estimation method where uh, Z camera is initialized first and it takes the left and right images and then uh, TensorFlow model is loaded which is a trained model uh, by a custom training of the uh, speed hump or bump uh, of uh, unmarked as well as marked then stereo it is converted into stereo image and then uh, that image is pre-processed and uh, with an object detection uh, it is able to detect the distance and then uh, uh, the distance is uh, displayed there printed on the screen as well as on the text box uh, on the bounding box and then if distance is less than 20 meters it will be alerting the driver this 20 meters is because of the constraint of the Z stereo camera which works uh, till 20 meters only And here are uh, various uh, distance estimation me measurement results. The hump 1 is captured at 11 meters and hump 2 at 10 meters and uh, hump 3 at 5 meters, hump 4 uh, another hump at 14 meters. And uh, uh, the last one uh, hump is with confidence 31 percentage at uh, 3.5 meters. And but it is predicted as 3.7 uh, to 1 meters. And uh, this is the uh, estimation results of the hump and uh, for various uh, distances 1 to 14 meters uh, distance we have placed on a tripod stand and then uh, took the distances estimation and the actual distance with tape and the estimation distance is calculated with the uh, our deep learning model as well as the stereo vision algorithm. Uh, here we got an uh, RMSE of uh, 29 centimeters. Uh, and uh, as well 23 centimeters for hump 2 and uh, at hump 3 we got uh, 29 centimeters again on an average it is giving around 30 centimeters uh, uh, error in the distance measurement and uh, coming to the part of model evaluation of the uh, object detection part we have uh, taken various cases here is an FP case where during uh, night light and uh, another FP case due to the divider because uh, it's in the same uh, uh, line in line with the hump which is available in the front and also in the low lightning conditions we have got a false negative case and uh, false positive uh, another false positive due to the divider and uh, true positive is also available in this image with this we have calculated the sensitivity specificity and precision and false positive rate and we have got a good accuracy of uh, 
97.44 for uh, marked harm detection and unmarked with uh, 93.83 percentage and uh, coming to the results uh, uh, summary uh, we have obtained uh, this with Jetson TX1 and Z stereo camera at 30 frames per second of the hump and uh, bump detection of unmarked and as well as marked uh, in real time uh, deployed this um, training model onto the Android mobile app as well uh, without the distance estimation uh, we have got the uh, detection of the bump at 2 frames per second because of the lack of GPU availability inside the mobile and uh, robust testing model was carried out on the marked and uh, unmarked speed breakers and the results have been uh, shared in the paper and the detection accuracy proposed model is 97.44% uh, with a false positive rate of 0 0.042 for uh, market speed breakers. Accuracy of 93.83% uh, with false positive rate of uh, 0 0.0909 for unmarked speed breakers. The distance towards the speed breaker is uh, estimated with an accuracy of uh, like plus or minus 20 centimeters in the range of uh, 2 to 10 meters about 10 meters the accuracy is little reducing like uh, 10 to 15 meters it is uh, accuracy of plus or minus uh, 30 centimeters we are able to attain here are the limitations and future scope of our work and as the uh, current android mobiles uh, doesn't have high-end gpus so uh, we are able to attain only frame rate of two frames per second for the hum detection which uh, will not work uh, very well in the real time uh, in future with advanced mobile phones which are integrated with gpus better frame rate is possible and uh, as well the z camera does not uh, use ir but uses uh, color images for depth perception so the detection of hump is poor at the very low lightning conditions like uh, nighttime environment and also the last part uh, the detection capabilities of the model will be becoming uh, very low uh, above 14 meters uh, yeah, as well uh, the Z stereo camera range is uh, 20 meters still we will be not able to capture good distance between 14 and uh, 20 kilometers because of the uh, deep learning model which we are using uh, by the using of models like uh, faster RCNN which needs a little higher computation power but performs uh, exceptionally well on uh, smaller object detections the distance estimation can be improved till 20 meters with the Z camera These are the few of the references which we have uh, used uh, during development of the work.